Now, beautiful feint by Carflo to finish off the game. Take down a Kazuya that was certainly very scary and very real and not at all about the jokes. But we got to get to some good old fashioned sorty gameplay and oh my god, are you already dead? Maybe. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> okay. I think um, I am thinking that Mystery is very happy to be playing against this cloud. While, you know, Kazuya, you know, you can space them out a lot as long as they don't get in. But once they get in, I think Bono would have had a field day. Mystery would have been losing stocks left and right. I almost want to see Carflo start to let rip limit in combos more. Like, that would be there great. was an early back air that it was like back air forward tilt, which did good damage. But back air limit cross slash goes so dummy at low percent, especially if you're able to get that much charge. Like, you're putting yourself right back in the game. Alas, he only sitting at 40 and finding all of these parries. Oh my gosh, what great coverage! Uh, Already forward. dead. And that's it. This might be just a two minute game. Shake my hand. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Not the end of the set. No, it is best of three. Yeah, we've okay, got, we got some juggles. Thanks, Smash Four. Yo. Oh no. <laughs> Punishing Mr. E for trying to edge guard him there. Yeah, trying to E trying to anticipate another defensive option, but alas, it does not come out. Just the jab lock into the dancing blade. All right, what are we gonna see here? Oh, Mr. E is ready for those climb hazards. Been throwing that out every single time, and they watch the last set. Oftentimes it feels like Carflow's main source of damage is just landing non-limit cross slash. And while that's certainly 20 at a time, it's been very like hard fought. Like every single win and every single hit is only what Mr. E is actually gonna give him. Otherwise, it's been parried, it's been blocked, and played around so so effectively. But E rolling in on the platform. You're not getting off that way, and that limit cross slash gives Carflo a chance here in game number one. Man, where did that second stop go? Damage is, any damage is good damage, even if it's a little bit stale. Another cross slash comes down. You're already at 40. You're already at 50 looking for the follow-up spike, but the immediate uh, invincibility coming out. Oh, okay. I'm going to go apologize to Carflo after bracket. I did not believe in them there. Wow. Putting the screws on Mr. E up until the very end, and... You know, I said it before in... We'll say it again. I said it before in game, in uh, set one, where E played out a advantage state so perfectly. This one was equally... Well, not this one in specific, but these final two stocks from Carflow is just great hesitations, great awareness, and pinpoint high-speed reactions. Find it, re see the jump, hit the bear, see the counter. No, I don't need this stock. I don't need to worry if I'm gonna lose my final stock if I, you die first. That's right. We're going back to town and city. Looks like Mr. E just wanted to run this back. It's a good stage for both characters, but uh, I don't know. Perhaps a better counter pick could have been there. All right here, just time hazards out of shield. Still playing around oh this platform. Oh my gosh. What a bear. We're seeing a lot more aerial movement from Carflow as they're chasing Mr. E. Good job not... Oh, using these platforms just to... What is this, Mario I'm, Wonder? I'm platforming in my platform fighter. Let's go! <laughs> Finally living up to their name. Oh, no. Okay, trying to get that Dolphin Slash. That's a re-grab. No punish from Carflow. Yeah, the only punish you get there is something like a down tilt. Carflow instead trying to play the expected buffered option from E, which... Hey man, all information is good information at this stage in the game. You've got a lot of games to go, wow. but E cashing out with that tech roll in. Solidly played. No jump on E. <gasps> okay. Mr. Oh, e knew it. got the footstool, so he's the fine. The fans of footstool, goodness. Okay, trying to trade. Doesn't get it. I'm but what a good scramble. All of these 40%. are so concerning. Swiss and luck. Oh my god, someone got hit, they're dead. Ah, they're fine. <laughs> they, they've survived worse. Oh, no, no you're fine. way. You're fine. What? <laughs> Jeez, on Carflow, it's a really good yeah. luck here. On stadium, on any stage with a... On many other stages, you're dead there, but not on town and city. All right, nice Dolphin Slash. Trying to get it again? Nope, instead that getting way. the dunk. Mr. E up two whole stocks. Oh, I want to see Carflow hit some of these backers a little high. He was going for a shield poke there with that down air, but a great parry on the part of Mr. E. Looking so pristine. Waiting for Carflow just to make the first move oh, every yeah. time. This could be it. Ooh, good reversal. 
Maybe this is the momentum that they need to bring this back. It was the momentum that Carflow needed in order to bring the previous game back. You're not alive anymore, though. Game two will be going to Mr. E, snuffing that before it begins. Now, Carflow hasn't gone back to Royer Crom this bracket. They've no. gone fully cloud. Full cloud, full Carflow with a C. I don't know. I feel like if <laughs> I feel like if they if they bring it to like a bracket reset and it's getting to a last game situation, I can see them pulling out the Trident True Roy or Chrome. I, I could see it. However, Carflow as a player and as the meta has progressed, has lost a lot of faith in Roy. Really? Dang. Yeah. So th I, I don't, don't think Roy is an excellent character. I, I don't see it. Yeah. I think Roy's broken as hell. <laughs> but in terms of like, man, I'm, if I'm going to be playing brackets where I'm going to be playing against fighter past, yeah, fighters past two a bunch, I'm going to be playing against characters that Roy can really struggle with, like Pikachu, for instance, or you know, like so many other characters that are killers in the ultimate meta right now. Roy is exploitable and doesn't have the same on-stage dominance that a character like Cloud can have. You have to play explosive and almost go gung-ho with a lot of your options. Do I agree with that sentiment? Not really. I think Roy is still insanely good. But if you're talking about Carflow, I think he has more, much more faith in Cloud as a character rather than Roy. I can see that. And Carflow, I mean, these sorts of characters always go to his playstyle. He is such a rush downer. Oh, yeah. Okay. He, he plays fast, so he needs a character with speed to boot. And yeah, the Carflow goes beep, beep. <laughs> yeah, it's Mr. E versus a regular car. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win? Money's on the car. <laughs> Money's on the car. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, you know what? Uh, can, I, can I change my bets? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're taking lessons from Street Fighter here. We're, just, we're in the bonus stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm busting your windows, baby. And he's climbing right through those doors. That's all right. It's just a Honda Civic. we got plenty of those. <laughs> Still pushing through the car floating. Trying to hard read a neutral getup, anticipating something coming out from Mr. E, but E just playing with that anticipation of tempo behind to try and appropriately whiff punish, something that Lucina does very well. All right, Mr. E recovering low. Getting That's it, missing the grab. Ooh. All right, Carful just getting that limit. All right, and they're going to have that fully charged here for that second stop. Yeah. No, on, never mind. On any hit or if you on any hit gained or received, you gain the limit back, so you can utilize it in disadvantage or offense depending on the position. Oh, I uh, felt like they were gonna do climb hazard again, try and get that cheeky spike. Oh, the damage comes up real quick though. I was expecting an up tilt, but reverse nair instead. Interesting setup there from Carflow, trying to bounce back and forth between the platforms. What happened to the momentum here? It's all in Carflow's favor. When you've got such good instant options like that climb hazard out of shield. You can force Mr. E to play a guessing game during his block string, which can be, uh, it'd be a lot of mental damage for sure if you have your opponent guessing if you're, whether or not you're going to press your option Gosh, out both of were shield. just trying to return to neutral, being like, are you going to hit first? Are you going to go first? No, that was some, you. That neutral was hot it just was, now. It, mm, it is No bad. one was swinging. Mm. You love, love it. that shit. Footsies. The nooch, baby. Oh, no, no way! He, Missed the punish! It was just a forward tilt. You died for it, maybe. Oh, definitely. Wait a minute. Carflow with the awareness of his own meter, though. We're still thriving. All right, Mr. E trying to go for an explosive option. Sliding forward tilt. Going so low. Oh, unable to get back. But you know what? It's a good trade. It's a good trade. They brought it to the last stop. I guess. It, like, it was not really necessarily necessary, but hey. Mr. E is one step closer to his uh, next Zeno uh, victory if he's able to take this stock first. But Carflo Carf doesn't want it. Yo, they Carf want the three peats. If Carflo starts mixing in grabs, this set changes immensely. Cloud's bad is terrible, but because it's terrible, it makes it amazing. Because no one ever expects no! it! Oh You're my gosh, alive! they're still alive! Finishing touch? I don't think so. Finish this. Oh, never mind. Not yet. No, they missed the pivot grab. Carflow just needs one good conversion. Dude, I'm floored. How did he get away with that? <laughs> Luck. Plot armor. Oh, the forward smash it, on the All right, we're going to see here. You're still oh flying my gosh. the tech is fine. Okay. Not throwing off stage, though. Trying to set up on the platform. The dash attack bursts oh, no. out. 
Sets up for Carflow Zone. Advantage throws out the Blazy, but it wow, whips. neutral get up to get through. Okay, what do we see here? Oh my gosh, that's, that's a it. punish. No, but he lands on misses the again. E, just the brief hesitation. Carflow looking for his shield poke, but doesn't find it. Gets hit by the back of shield. E going too early. That's You're it. not fine. And Mr. E takes Xeno Weekly. Gosh, so hard fought. Blow after blow. Oh, the floaty zone, like more steady sortie versus the high speed antics of Cloud Strife. And at the end of the day, after some beautiful, beautiful gameplay from both sides, reading and reacting and anticipating and looking out for everything. Oh, they got the tech too, but just but, unable to get back without the double jump. So you remember what yes. I said a little earlier uh -huh. when that Dolphin Slash is like really good, but if it sends too far at too high percents, Cloud just like recovers to the other side. Mm -hmm. You can't do that on PS2 because on Stadium, and I'm going to use this replay for an example, mm -hmm. there is a wall and a ceiling there. You can't go that way. You try to go this way, you're getting owned. If you're exactly Cloud, some characters can still recover, but Cloud cannot, and that is what cements Game 3, last stock, last hit. And no reset. We're getting out at a good time here. Woo! And woo. here's the... Thank you, Mr. Here's that beautiful, like, no oh my one gosh, wants yeah. to swing. This I'm was so like, glad you saved that. Like, oh, just, bro, that oh. That's my shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> just the Do anticipation. It's like, like, I dare you to swing first. Yeah. Oh, we just had it's this like, really oh, nice, oh, like, oh, shield scared. tilting there. Yeah. <laughs> Not many players do that, and I think it's underutilized in the meta. I love this shit. Mm. Just, mm. 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 We were playing Tekken for a moment. That was some good-ass Tekken right there. Right? We got we to get some Korean backdashes on this. It is... It's just impressive that two players can still feel the nerves. Like, no yeah. doubt were they both into it. Like, look at the gamer lean on these lads. Right? Look they at leaned in so far. <laughs> 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 no, we got to get, uh, get a green line that, in there. Actually, yeah, we are making a, uh, a right angle because they're both going 45. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is, uh, you see, the reason why they are a pyramid is because this is uh -oh. the pinnacle of Smash. Yes. But we're, we're right there. Illuminati confirmed. Gotta get it some is. eyes in there. Nope, never mind. No eyes needed. Just like, a good old dolphin slash. Gosh. Like, man, that is so... This scene has been hot. Like, there's been so many good sets, so many characters that just... Wait, wait can, can we go back to that? I, I saw a nice little ripple there with the, oh, yeah. with the fist bump. That was, that was clean. That was sick. We can just like slow mo that, like one fourth. Just. Yeah, it was a little really bit nice. Yeah, a little, that's bit, that's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Like, See, that's the power of good sportsmanship. There was so many good sets. Like, the characters in Xeno's top eight today were <laughs> like, it was Greninja, it was like Lucina, Krom, uh, Fawn, who we, plays a bunch of different characters. Yeah. We didn't get to see it on stream. Yeah. But. Come on, Star GG. There we go. Uh, we didn't get to see it on stream, but. Uh, Ryu, Gaius, yeah. yeah, taking fifth, putting numbers in in seventh place. I heard that man talking some real Gaius, shit. Gaius he, like, you know what? We good. need more Shotos. Who did John lose to in winners? Uh, lost to. Ooh, I can't tell from here. They actually got knocked down pretty early. Yeah, I they think lost to. Oh, John they lost, lost to, to Cody. Cody. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Peach. That's right. Watch it on yeah. stream. How could I forget? Cody having the rough. Uh, winners, Cody playing the winners carpool. top eight. <laughs> out at it, like sucks, but getting fifth at Xeno is still pretty high. Yeah, With Ryu and a little bit of Ken from Gaius throughout the bracket, like, and just oh, they went to Re uh, they went Ken as well. Yeah, there was Ooh. Ken a little early on, but for the top twenty four run, it was mostly Ryu. Yeah, honestly, that was really hard to watch. I want to see yeah. some more Shoto's out here. Shoto meta, Shoto meta. I'm down. I'm okay with uh, this. Eh? You get. I'm down you get for like Street Fighter Ryu. 6? Yeah, not Ken. I don't like Ken. What about Terry? Terry's oh. fine. Okay, we can we can work with this. I can, I can work with Ryu and I can work with Terry. Like those those guys are fine. But like okay. Ken, like I'm poisoned from <laughs> six. <laughs> okay. Like, like oh boy, fundies run up, standing fierce. Like die. that that character is <laughs> way too good. But I'm not gonna complain about Street Fighter. Instead, I am That's going right. to pivot to what you've been watching right now, which has been the House of Three Thousand stream, where you can find all of the updates on. Blue Sky, 
Shoutouts. What you're watching right now, which is twitch.tv slash 3000 Drop a follow and maybe even a sub. Where all the VODs will be at youtube.com slash 3000 Definitely will, all of them will be up tomorrow because there's all of the quad stream and off stream VODs that were all recorded. All of Top 24 is ready, locked, and almost all of Top 24 is locked and loaded on that YouTube. The, the, the videos are unlisted. And then you can join the Discord for immediate updates or check out the Twitter, which is Devin3000. Give Devin a bunch of follows because that would be really funny. But also you get all of the house <laughs> updates from Devin's Twitter, hashtag free house of 3000. And be sure to hire house who will be bringing you all of this amazing production for Smash and for many, many other games. Yeah, and you know, speaking of other games, we're not going to get to that right now because we got Super Smash Brothers right here at Xeno Weeklies every single Wednesday. $15 to come in and play. And you can catch us every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Run by the amazing House of 3000, but you know what else they run? Last Man Standing, Street Fighter Six, your favorite game! I love this game. You love this game. I just don't like Ken Masters, but I it, really love this game. This is in <laughs> two weeks. This is the Sunday after next. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday? Right. So yeah, the, uh, the 29th. Yeah. yeah, the 29th. Oh, uh, well, if, if no one is going Halloween. to Miami, then you're going to go here to Street Fighter Six, the Swiss Bracket. You're going to get a dummy amount of games. You know how Swiss yeah. Bracket works, right? Yes. You're going to play everybody. You're going to play them all. You're going to get double elimination for top four, and you're going to learn just how good you are. And you know what? You're going to be better than you think. But you only if you come through. Yeah, all about the offline grind, just so you can you can test your metal against some of the best. Yes, and testing the metal in bombs, that's the real grind fest right there. There is a cap. Unlike Xeno Weeklies, 7 p.m. every single Monday, Smash Brothers Ultimate. We're also bringing back the bi weekly Street Fighter 6 at Bombs. Yes. Uh, so this Monday we'll have Street Fighter 6 as well. There you go, no excuse. You can play Smash and Street Fighter 6. Shout outs to uh, Video Games New York for giving a, supplying the consoles to make it happen. Yeah. There, if you were in Xeno today, you could see a bunch of PlayStation 5s lighted around everywhere, and that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, we don't have PlayStation 5 money, but you know what Video Games New York does? <laughs> yeah. We can only rent them, but we love them for it. All right, so that is, I believe, all of the ads we've got? That is all the ads we have. I know we shout out the boiling point, but not going to happen Is that this, this weekend? Uh, I'm going to try and see what we can do. Street Fighter VI and Guilty Gear Strive are being run at uh, East Coast Throwdown. So right. uh -huh. it is, uh, yeah, we're not going to get anybody coming in from those. So maybe a smaller bracket with Skullgirls and them Fighting Hurts if you guys want to show up. Maybe? Smaller bracket? Smaller bracket? If you want to show up, bracket. Here, here it is. Bracket there you go. Do. Now, we're going to be running that at around 7 p.m., so be sure to check it out. We're going to be running both Skullgirls and Dems Fighting Herds. Guilty Gear Strive and Street Fighter 6. If you guys are already playing that, you should be checking out East Coast Throwdown. You'll probably be going or watching. East. But if you want some Skullgirls and Dems Fighting Herds action, check us out on Friday. I mean, Saturday. And that will do it for all of the different ads that we got. And, of course, the bracket itself is done. You can be sure to follow all of house as mentioned before to get all of the updates about this xeno you can check out the bracket and also next xeno's bracket will be up asap be sure to check out starter g stress xeno tomorrow and with that uh, i think anything final thoughts well you're Ubel. they can catch you that, over on twitter are you true. also on blue sky i am on blue sky you can find me still at ublsol on blue sky because twitter's a cesspool so. what you don't want to give elon musk a dollar come on it's a dollar <laughs> It's a doll. It's one dollar. Good night, everybody. <laughs> you can also follow me on Twitter. <laughs> it's Blue Sky. Bye. Bye. Yeah, there we go. Ah.